Now, Ukraine's opposition came onto the streets again today to protest recent elections, which they say were rigged. Their leader, Yulia Tymoshenko, the former prime minister, is now on hunger strike in jail. And her daughter is here to take her mother's case to the European Court of Human Rights. Yulia Tymoshenko made her fortune in the gas industry before becoming a prominent figure in Ukraine's Orange Revolution and then its first female prime minister. But in October last year, she was jailed for seven years. She was found guilty of abuse of office in connection with a gas deal she brokered with Russia, a charge her supporters insist is weak and politically motivated. Mrs Tymoshenko has not been seen in public since then, but earlier this year, images emerged of her showing bruises she claimed were caused by her captors. She's now on hunger strike for the second time. The EU has condemned her treatment, and now her daughter is taking the case to the European Court of Human Rights. She claims there was no guarantee of a fair trial and that the law used to convict her mother was vague. Whatever the outcome, her mother continues to cast a long shadow in Ukrainian politics, her party polling 25% in last week's election, even with the leader in jail. Today, protests continued outside the Electoral Commission. Members of largely pro-Western political groups claim President Yanukovych's ruling party rigged part of the vote, a claim denied by the incumbent. While a recount in 13 contested districts would probably still leave the president with an overall majority, it could energise an opposition that has been on the back foot since its figurehead was jailed. Well, a little earlier, I spoke to Yulia Tymoshenko's daughter, Eugenia, and I asked about their demands, whether they wanted the elections to be held again. Opposition wants, uh, of course, uh, uh, to uh, make sure that justice is served for candidates that stood from the opposition who won, but their victories have been stolen. And uh, exactly, um, it's not only a single voice of the opposition. We don't consider our votes uh, being taken away from us just because we... we seemingly lost doesn't mean that we only the one who protest it's also the independent observer missions who stated uh, you know based on the multiple facts of violations that these elections were a step backwards um, uh, for for the for the ukraine but do you believe under this president uh, anything could be addressed in terms of your concerns well, obviously, my mother today has been in jail, incarcerated for one year and three months, exactly, and her colleagues for more so, almost one and a half years for some of them. Uh, they're, they're really uh, withstanding, really, uh, moral torture, m mental torture, physical torture, and uh, all the signals, all this pressure that has been sent from the, from the international community so far hasn't been heard by the regime. And how long will she go on on hunger strike? She will go on till the justice is, is uh, found, till the, till, till the true election results are voiced by the Central Electoral Committee. There are a lot of Ukrainians as well who say that your mother and her acolytes have made many mistakes and have been guilty of wrongdoing as well. I mean, do you, do you accept there has been any wrongdoing by your side? Um, you see, my mother is accused precisely, and I'm almost quoting, of creating a positive image for her, for her voters uh, with solving a European gas crisis in 2009. This political decision that she's made, that she negotiated, that stopped a European gas crisis, that, that poured gas back into Ukrainian homes and European homes, have been criminalized. These decisions have been criminalized according to the old Stalinist laws that are used and been abused by the regime um, in, in our very, very much dependent judiciary system. Prosecutors work together with judges to accuse her of something she hasn't even done. And you say there's no corruption? There's no, no one. There's no one word of corruption or private gain in her accusation, in the witness statements, and that's exactly what Yanukovych spent millions and months on researching her activity as a prime minister. They never found one penny of corruption. Now uh, we will wait for the final conclusions of international community as for the Ukrainian elections. But we can now already state that they are not fair and not democratic. Eugenia Tymoshenko, whose mother is on hunger strike in Ukraine.